three equally skilled tennis players play in a tournament. After each round, the winner plays against the third player. The first to reach two consecutive wins becomes the champion. If A and B play the first game, what is the probability that C wins the tournament? For the question we are looking at today, I had three minutes. You should pause the video and try to find the answer and I'll see you back here. Let's look at a couple of examples of matches and their outcomes. If A wins his first match and defeats C after that, he becomes the winner. If you look at A and B, their path in the tournament is symmetrical, given that they are equally strong. Then, the probability that A wins is equal to that of B winning. A positive case for C would be one in which, regardless of who wins the first match, he wins the next two ones, defeating both B and A and winning the tournament. If we consider C's chances, we know the first game he plays will be against a player that already has a win under his belt. He is competing with a disadvantage, so his chances are less than those of A and B. Let P be the probability that C wins the tournament. We can assume, without loss of generality, that A wins the first game. Let's look at potential paths, starting from the point where C starts playing. With a probability of half, A wins, thus winning the entire tournament. With a probability of half, C wins. From this point, he can win the next game and thus the tournament. Or, he can lose the next one. Then, either B wins the next game and the tournament, or loses to A, and the tournament returns to the state it was in when C started playing. So, from this point on, C's win probability is again P. We can write an equation for P now. Getting that, P equals 2 over 7. As expected, this is less than a third, meaning that C is indeed disadvantaged. This question can become more challenging by changing some of the parameters. One way to do this is by making the players not equal in skill, thus changing the probabilities with which each game outcome occurs. Another one is by changing the number of consecutive games required to win the tournament. Let's take a look at what happens if you require three consecutive wins to win the tournament. With the same assumption about the first game as before, consider the possible outcomes. A wins the game against C, and then the next one, and he becomes the winner. Or he loses the second game to B, and then B, having won one game, plays against C. This is the same situation like the one we started from. If C wins his first game against A, but loses to B, we arrive at an alternative scenario in which C's winning probability is denoted by Q. This scenario can be characterized by a match between A and B in which one of them has a win from before. Conversely, if C wins his first two games, and then the third, he becomes the winner with probability 1. If he loses the third match, we are again at the alternative scenario. Following the probability tree, we obtain an equation between P and Q. Now we can develop the tree starting from the alternative scenario. Following a similar logic to before, we get another equation between P and Q. Putting the two together, we get that P equals 8 over 27. We can now check our results by simulating them. 
You can do this directly or by considering the tournament as a mark of chain, with the states described as latest game, previous winner and the number of wins this winner has. We can see that the answers we got before match the simulated chances. One other thing that you can remark is that, while the tournament is unfair to see, increases the number of games necessary to win, makes the odds more balanced between the three players. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated to webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!